Hi there, students. Uh, once you have mounted your motors on, so they're both facing the same direction and are on top, the very next step is going to be creating some bumpers in the front and the back. We need something a little shorter than this space that will be in the bottom of the back and the front that will keep it from tilting all the way back or all the way forward. So you've got a challenge today in that you've got to find some material around where you are and you got to be creative. Don't get stuck with I can't. Um, got to look around and see what materials you could use for a bumper. Um, looking around my home, I found a couple of options. Uh, I found some uh, caps to some water bottles that are about the right height in there, as you could see. Um, also, we could use some cardboard and fold it back and forth like this. Don't forget that you've got a cardboard saw, that's canary cutter, that you could saw through a strip of cardboard or card or paper, and then you could fold this back and forth to get yourself something of the right height. So I'm gonna try using um, these. If that's too rough right here, you could scrape that back and forth on some cement or concrete outside. So I'm gonna go and use some of this tape right here to neatly tape my front and my back bumpers down. So I'm gonna do my front bumper here. Trying to get it into the middle. Got a little more tape. You want to tape it in a way where you're not going to have to retape this later. Okay, really do a good job of getting that put down there. I'm going to put mine in the back here as well. Right like this. Put that nicely there. And as you could see here, now it can only tilt a tiny bit. It's got front and back bumpers now. Um, what you will want to do when you are done is take a picture of the bottom of your uh, robot. Okay, I hope that helps.